Asaku Sato, Zuo Ten Rong Zuo Sato Asaku, the 27th of March 1901 to the 3rd of June 1975, was a Japanese politician and the 39th Prime Minister of Japan, elected on the 9th of November 1964 and re-elected on the 17th of February 1967 and the 14th of January 1970, serving until the 7th of July 1972. As such, he is the longest uninterrupted serving PM in Japanese history and the first Prime Minister to have been born in the 20th century. He is also the only Japanese laureate of the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Early life Sato was born in Tabuz, Yamaguchi Prefecture, on 27 March 1901 and studied German law at Tokyo Imperial University. In 1923, he passed the senior civil service examinations, and in the following year, upon graduation, became a civil servant in the Ministry of Railways. He served as director of the Osaka Railways Bureau from 1944 to 1946 and vice minister for transportation from 1947 to 1948. Sato entered the Diet in 1949 as a member of the Liberal Party. He served as Minister of Postal Services and Telecommunications from July 1951 to July 1952. Sato gradually rose through the ranks of Japanese politics, becoming Chief Cabinet Secretary to then Prime Minister Shigeru Yoshida from January 1953 to July 1954. He later served as Minister of Construction from October 1952 to February 1953. After the Liberal Party merged with the Japan Democratic Party to form the Liberal Democratic Party, Sato served as chairman of the Party Executive Council from December 1957 to June 1958. Sato became Minister of Finance in the cabinets of Nobuzuki Kishi his brother, and Hayato Ikeda. From July 1961 to July 1962, Sato was Minister of International Trade and Industry. From July 1963 to June 1964 he was concurrently head of the Hokkaido Development Agency and of the Science and Technology Agency, and was also state minister in charge of organizing the 1964 Summer Olympics held in Tokyo. <laughs> Prime Minister Sato succeeded Ikeda after the latter resigned due to ill health. His government was longer than many, and by the late 1960s he appeared to have single-handed control over the entire Japanese government. He was a popular prime minister due to the growing economy, his foreign policy, which was a balancing act between the interests of the United States and China, was more tenuous. Student political radicalization led to numerous protests against Sato's support of the United States-Japan Security Treaty, and Japanese tacit support for American military operations in Vietnam. These protests expanded into massive riots, which eventually forced Sato to close the prestigious University of Tokyo for a year in 1969. After three terms as Prime Minister, Sato decided not to run for a fourth. His heir apparent, Takeo Fukuda, won the Sato faction's support in the subsequent Diet elections, but the more popular Midi minister, Kakui Tanaka, won the vote, ending the Sato faction's dominance. Relations with mainland China and Taiwan Sato is the last Prime Minister of Japan to visit Taiwan during his term. In 1965, Sato approved a $150 million loan to Taiwan. He visited Taipei in September 1967. In 1969, Sato insisted that the defense of Taiwan was necessary for the safety of Japan. Sato followed the United States in most major issues, but Sato opposed the Nixon visit to China. Sato also bitterly opposed the entry of the PRC into the United Nations in 1971. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Nuclear Affairs. Sato introduced the three non-nuclear principles on the 11th of December 1967, which means non-production, non-possession, and non-introduction of nuclear weapons. He later suggested the four pillars nuclear policy. During the prime ministership of Sato, Japan entered the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. The Diet passed a resolution formally adopting the principles in 1971. For this, he received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1974. 
However, recent inquiries show that behind the scenes, Sato was more accommodating towards U.S. plans of stationing nuclear weapons on Japanese soil. In December 2008, the Japanese government declassified a document showing that during a visit to the U.S. in January 1965, he was discussing with U.S. officials the possibility of using nuclear weapons against the People's Republic of China. In December 2009, his son reported that his father agreed in a November 1969 conversation with U.S. President Nixon to allow the stationing of nuclear warheads in Okinawa once it was restored to Japanese sovereignty. Topic. Okinawa issues Since the end of the Second World War, Okinawa had been occupied by the United States. While visiting the United States in January 1965, Sato openly asked President Lyndon Johnson to return Okinawa to Japan. In August 1965, Sato became the first post-war Prime Minister of Japan to visit Okinawa. In 1969, Sato struck a deal with U.S. President Richard Nixon to repatriate Okinawa and remove its nuclear weaponry. This deal was controversial because it allowed the U.S. forces in Japan to maintain bases in Okinawa after repatriation. Okinawa was formally returned to Japan on 15 May 1972, which also included the Senkaku Islands also known as the Diaoyu Islands in China and the subject, since 1971, of a Sino-Japanese sovereignty dispute, see Senkaku Islands dispute. Topic. Relations with Southeast Asia During Sato's term, Japan participated in the creation of the Asian Development Bank in 1966 and held a ministerial-level conference on Southeast Asian economic development. It was the first international conference sponsored by the Japanese government in the post-war period. In 1967, he was also the first Japanese prime minister to visit Singapore. He was largely supportive of the South Vietnamese government during throughout the Vietnam War. Later life Sato shared the Nobel Peace Prize with Sean McBride in 1974. He was awarded for representing the Japanese people's will for peace, and for signing the Nuclear Arms Non-Proliferation Treaty in 1970. He was the first Asian to accept the Nobel Peace Prize. In 1973, Vietnamese politician Le Duc Tho had become the first Asian to win the prize, but Tho had rejected it. Topic. Death While at a restaurant on 19 May 1975, Sato suffered a massive stroke, resulting in a coma. He died at 12.55 a.m. on 3 June at the Jaike University Medical Center, aged 74. After a public funeral, his ashes were buried in the family cemetery at Tabuse. Sato was posthumously honored with the collar of the Order of the Chrysanthemum, the highest honor in the Japanese honors system. Honors Sato received the following awards Knight's Grand Cross of the Order of Isabella the Catholic Golden Pheasant Award of the Scout Association of Japan Grand Cordon of the Order of the Chrysanthemum, the 3rd of November 1972. Nobel Peace Prize, the 12th of May 1974. Collar of the Order of the Chrysanthemum, the 3rd of June 1975. Junior First Rank, the 3rd of June 1975. Topic: Foreign Honor. Malaysia, Honorary Grand Commander of the Order of the Defender of the Realm SMN, 1967 Topic. Personal life Sato married Hiroko Matsuoka the 5th of January 1907 to the 16th of April 1987 the niece of diplomat Yosuke Matsuoka, in 1926 and had two sons, Ryotaro and Shinji. In a 1969 Shukan Asahi interview with novelist Shusaku Endo, his wife accused him of being a rake and a wife beater. His hobbies included golf, fishing, and the Japanese tea ceremony. The 37th Prime Minister of Japan, Nobuzuki Kishi, was his older brother, and the current Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, was his grandnephew. 
Both Prime Minister Sato and his wife, Hiroko Matsuoka, are descendants of samurai. Topic see also List of Japanese Nobel laureates List of Nobel laureates affiliated with the University of Tokyo Topic References Topic Further reading Allinson, Gary D. Japan's Post-War History. Cornell University Press 2004, ISBN 0-8014-8912-1 Ambrose, Stephen and Brinkley, Douglas. The Rise to Globalism. Longman 1998. ISBN 0-14-026831-6. Filer, Bruce. Learning to Bow, Inside the Heart of Japan. Harper 2004. ISBN 0-06-057720-7 Macmillan, Margaret. Nixon and Mao, The Week That Changed the World. Random House 2008. ISBN 0-8129-7057-8 Eddie Duformont, Sato Esaku, Yasuoka Masahiro and the Re-Establishment of of February as National Day, The Political Use of National Memory in Post-War Japan, in Wolfgang Schwenker and Sven Saller ed., The Power of Memory in Modern Japan, Global Oriental, 2008, p. 204-222. Topic. External links Film footage of Eisaku Sato's state visit to Washington, D.C. Nobel Committee information on 1974 Peace Prize Sato Eisaku Ebb article Japanese government homepage Brief summary of the debate around Eisaku Sato's Nobel Prize at OpenLearn